Hey guys, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. It's Beer 30. Let's go take a walk, see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks a bunch for stopping by. I do appreciate you spending a little time with this old man today. Today's beer comes from Heineker Brewing Company. Not Heineken, but Heineker. These guys are in New Hampshire. This is their Flapjack. And it is a maple double brown ale coming in at 7%. Not a big beer. Uh, and it looks... See, maybe a heat shrunk label on here, guys. But what it feels like. It very, very tough to see on this one. But I believe it. I believe it's a heat shrunk label on there. But it's tight against that rim and tight against the bottom. But I can feel a little bit of a lip right there on the bottom there. So I believe it's a, some kind of heat shrunk uh, wrapper on this. And this one says best before. February 15th of 2022. Uh, says here, as the leaves start turning here in the brew, we start to hear the ghostly voice in the wind whispering, when are you guys going to make a pumpkin beer? Uh, I'm not much on pumpkin beers, guys. I've reviewed pretty much most of them, unless there's some kind of imperial pumpkin that's done very well. I'm usually not interested in those 5 and 6% pumpkin beers. Black uh, and then most tastes pretty much the same. I got the allspice and, and uh, nutmeg and cinnamon and all that. It's pretty, pretty typical like a pumpkin pie beer. Uh, uh, it says here, uh, with pride in our chest and fire in our the answer is never. Pumpkin beers are gross. <laughs> I won't say they're gross, but they're not my cup of tea. Uh, Plopjack is an unpumpkin beer Sturdy, rustic, with all the complexity our beloved English malts can provide a touch of pure New England maple syrup. Pumpkins are for porches, malts are for making beer. Uh, I heard all that. I heard every bit of that. Anyway, uh, let's jump over to Untap. By the way, this comes to me by the way of Wayne. He sent me a couple beers, so this wraps up his beer mail package. Wayne, thanks a bunch, sir. I do appreciate it. Uh, and their commercial description here is the same thing I just read off the side of the can here, guys. Uh, I see, now it's in the light, I see... Evidently, it's got white paint on the can from the top to bottom. And then, it's not a heat shrunk, it's a stick-on label they put on there. Done very well, I mean... Uh, uh, I've not quite seen one done quite like that, but uh, it works. Uh, 45 IBUs on this particular beer, guys. Flapjack. So we're going to find out what this brings to the table. We got the ABB, we got the IBUs, we got the best buy date, not a canned on date. So let's find out what we got here. Big 16 ounce can. I don't know if white cans cost more than just regular aluminum cans. I don't know how that works. Looks like it's decently carbonated for a brown ale. Might be a tad on the heavy, but I've been pouring it fairly aggressive, but it's going to have two to three fingers of head on this pour. So anyway, two and a half anyway. This is slightly off-white khaki colored head. And in the light, I can see some light through the thin part of the glass down here, guys. It's more brownish mahogany color. Uh, decent looking brown ale. We're going to find out what the nose and the taste brings to the table. Hmm? Here we go. To the nose we go. Oh yeah, rich roasted malt, uh, maple syrup. 
Maybe a hint of some tar caramel and toffee. But I am getting uh, the maple syrup. I mean, it's not off the chain maple, but I do I do detect it. Smells good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Wayne. Thank you, sir. Definitely maple syrup in the taste, too. Very smooth. 7%. That's a tasty brown ale, guys. I mean, it's not an imperial ale by any means, a 7%, but a nice brown ale with some maple syrup characteristics in there where they've added it. Very nice. This, to me, would be a 5 or a 6% brown ale with maple in it, being 7%. It's to my go-to range, so... And I've told you this before, guys. Uh, a lot of these darker beers, barley wine, stouts, porters, brown ales, some red ales, they get a little bit better as they come up to room temperature. Uh, some of that stuff opens up and you get a little bit more heavier characteristics sometimes. Not always, but sometimes. So, swirly swirl. If we can get it all in there, I'm going to pour it right down the center here, guys. It may be a mistake. But uh, I don't know if you can see it because there's no light behind the, the glass there, but I can still see light through the bottom of the glass from here and not even holding it up in the bite. So, uh, tasty beer. I mean, it is. I'm not a fan of these best before, used by whatever by dates instead of an actual canned on date because I don't know what kind of shelf life these guys are giving it. Whether well, they're giving it three, four, five, six months a year. No, well, I don't know. Uh, so, um, they're in the business to sell as many beers as they can and not putting that canned on date may have an influence on that to some people like myself. Uh, but it's not a super hoppy beer where the hops are going to fade and it's not done with coffee where that's going to fade. So, uh, and it's 7%. I mean, it's probably going to keep at least 6, 8, 12 months anyway without any degradation to the taste or the effects. and. I mean, that's just my opinion though guys from my experience so, uh, it wouldn't be something to be super critical of actually having a can on date but I just like that information I like to know how old the beer is that I'm drinking so with that being said it's right out of the fridge let's let it warm up and see what we got alright guys I'm back been sipping on quite a while it's definitely up to room temperature it's a decent uh, brown ale guys I mean the maple syrup is there it's exactly what they say it is uh, nice roasted malt uh, very enjoyable brown ale guys uh, alcohol is well hidden a little caramel a little toffee maple syrup oh yeah why don't you Very tasty from the first soup to the last one. So, uh, very nicely done. B plus for me on this one, guys. 88. Uh, I enjoyed this. Very nice. Uh, over to Beer Advocate. They have, hey, they have 88. We're in agreement. And Untapped has it at 3.81, which is also their B plus. So, uh, unanimous, guys. It's a B plus beer. Uh, Flatjack from Henniker Brewing Company. This is a brown ale. Uh, they're calling it an imperial or a double, but it's only 7%. Not quite there, guys. It's not an imperial. So uh, they can call it whatever they want to, but not quite to that ABV range for me to call it an imperial. So uh, if you've had it, let me know what you think. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge. Wayne, thanks a bunch for the beer mail package. I do appreciate it.